Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, Ow, where I like to talk about stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I have a box opening. Now this box comes courtesy of Baseball Pipe Guy. If you haven't watched his channel, you should. It's mostly related to pipes and pipe tobacco. I will put a link right here. Check out his channel, subscribe to his channel. He's a good guy, good channel. And he sent me some samples that he wanted me to try. I'm gonna open this baby up. I waited a couple days. I wanted to be able to do a video, a box opening video for this. We're going to use my Leatherman Charge. I don't need to open it. I'm still getting used to this thing. Here we go. Cutting through the packing tape. Opening a box from David, baseball pipe guy. Let's see what's inside here. Mm-hmm. We have the bro note. Let us read it now. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll do a good voice for David here. Bradley, apologies for a non-handwritten note, but my penmanship is atrocious. In clothes, you shall find several samples of tobacco that I hope you will enjoy. The smaller packets are mostly samples from samples, so there wasn't a large well to draw from. Hopefully they'll give you two to three bowls worth to try. And then he has a note that says, skip this next section until after opening if you don't want to know what's in the box. So we will take his advice and we will take a look at what's inside. First of all, we have some sort of chamois microfiber cloth. This is actually very cool. He's using this as packing material, but this is very useful. I use microfiber cloths for a great many things, shining my pipes and all that kind of good stuff. So thank you, David. We also have, oh, this is funny. So David, baseball pipe guy, is a huge, mostly baseball fan, mostly into the Giants, but he's also a uh, San Francisco 49er fan. I live in the Pacific Northwest, so obviously Seattle Seahawks, great rivalry between the two teams. But in a show of camaraderie, he has sent me some uh, Seattle Seahawks coasters which is very cool. An entire set of Seattle Seahawks coasters. Very nice. Thank you very much, David. That was very, very thoughtful. Throwing aside our differences in the spirit of friendship. Lovely. Very cool. Oh, wow. What's this? Ooh, it's a little... Oh, it's a Seattle Seahawks flashlight that I think I just unscrewed. There we go. Nice. Little LED flashlight for the keychain. More Seahawk swag. Very cool. Okay, so now we're getting get get again 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 get 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 to the samples. Ah, so this is Cool Hand Fluke. This is a blend which supposedly has over 50% perique, which I have not tried yet. I'm gonna take a whiff, see if I can smell the perique in here. Oh yeah, there is perique in there. So I will be interested to try this out. Very cool. We have a little bit of Peter Heinrich's Dark Strong. Nice. That is in flake form. We have Telford's Pipe Shop, Fort Baker. So that must be a brick and mortar house blend. So I don't really know anything about that. But that will be interesting to try. Uh, Cornell and Deal's Burley Flake. I've heard good things about that. You can see that's kind of in a pseudo rubbed out form. We have, is my mic plugged in? Yes, it is. Ah, the Giants blend. So this is a blend that Baseball Pipe Guy had made at Pipes and Cigars. If you don't know, you can go to Pipes and Cigars and you can pick quantities of different blending tobaccos, have them combine it for you, and they'll make your own personal blend. So this is his. I'm gonna take a whiff of this. Mmm, smells like an English. I think I see some lot of key in there. Yeah, I'll be interested to try this. Let me close so I don't let all the tobacco-y goodness seep out. We have, ah, McCraney's Curatuck. This has been very popular online amongst the pipe smoker community. Be interested to try that out. I think that's a bulk blend by McCraney's. They have a lot of tin blends as well, but this is one of their bulks. Interesting. Ah, well, I mean, I'll get to that last. Crossroads. 
there. Don't know a lot about this. We've got ah, Boswell's Northwoods. This is something I've tried before. I've never had a large quantity of it, but it's a very popular English blend. Boswell is a, a basically a brick and mortar store, but they make pipes and they blend tobacco as well. Pretty popular online. And Northwoods is well regarded by a lot of people as a really good English blend. I think it has a little Cavendish in there too. We have got Briar Patch, Sign of the Four. Briar Patch is a pretty well-known tobacco store. One of their blends, a lot of samples in here. Stormfront, ba -bum. I don't know if it really does much to you to see the labels, but Old Limey Bastard. It'll be nice, we can read the rest of his note to see what he says about each of these blend, blends and Dark Horse. So a lot of blends, and then finally, of course, Sleepy Hollow. Now this is an aromatic. Everyone knows, or that you should know by now, that I hate aromatics. I loathe them. Not really, but they're just usually not my choice. But I, it looks like he's, he's gonna force me to try the Sleepy Hollow. Let me take a whiff of this. Yep. I can smell vanilla. Interesting. All right, all right, David, I'll try it. I will try it. Let's get rid of this box. We'll read the rest of his note here. <coughs> the Fort Baker blend is from a brick and mortar in Marin County and is a straight English. The sign of the four is a new blend from my local brick and mortar and one I am most anxious to hear your opinion about. Just make sure. So that's Briar Patch, sign of the four. I did include a small sample of Sleepy Hollow. I know how you feel about aromatics, but I have grown so fond of this blend that I thought perhaps you might give it a try. I'm putting the odds at 50-50. I will try it. I promise I will try it. I'm not sure if you've tried the Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky yet. I have tried the Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky and I did enjoy it. But the Peter Heinrich Dark Strong that I included is supposed to be pretty much the same tobacco. I have heard that as well and it'll be interesting to see. Um, I don't actually have any Orlick Dark Strong on me at the moment, so I can't really do a bowl-to-bowl -bowl comparison. Where is that stuff? But uh, eh, maybe I remember enough of the flavor. There's the Dark Strong. It looks similar. Let me take a whiff. Well, it smells like a Dark Fire Burley blend, but we shall see. Um, and last but not least, I've included the infamous Giants blend that I created from Pipes and Cigars, my own blend section. Thank you so much for all the content on your channel. I have learned a lot from you. David. Well, that was very nice of you, David. I appreciate that. Motorcycles. Mm. And I will be sending something to you in return. I have a lot of different, different tins open at the moment. I know that you have bought a lot of tobacco recently, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to give you a lot that you haven't already tried, but I will do my best. I do appreciate these samples. There is a lot here to get through. So I will definitely try the Sleepy Hollow very soon. I've got my cob that I can throw this in. And then you mentioned the sign of the four, so I will definitely try that sooner rather than later. But thank you very much, David, and thank you all for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things. Good day.